Hi, my name is Akbar al Bakr. I'm the CEO of Qatar Airways. You just made some um, comments in the IATA AGM. Can you just repeat those for our viewers and explain where your concerns come from? Well, my concerns uh, come from uh, somebody that is, was working for the uh, Board of Governors for IATA and was now subordinating them by s mentioning to the press that uh, uh, he uh, went over and above them directly to the AGM and got the climate change resolutions approved. This is uh, not correct. This is a perceived lie because on the, uh, the uh, 7th of uh, June 2009, uh, uh, the Board of Governors of IATA approved the, uh, the climate change resolution before it went uh, to the AGM. Uh, nothing happens in IATA without it going through the Board of Governors. So for him to prove that he was uh, a superman in IATA is uh, far from the truth. There was a lot of uh, uh, ambiguities the way uh, business was done. It was a one-man show. And uh, I take it as a huge offense, especially now that I'm sitting on the Board of Governors, and I will not accept any present past individual to undermine the credibility of IATA and its Board of Governors. How would you like IATA to respond to this? You know, what action do you well, think they I should have, take? Uh, I have asked uh, the uh, IATA DG uh, in public uh, to uh, send him a strong rebuttal and uh, not to allow him to attend any more future AGMs of IATA. And then if we could just discuss some of the topics that have been um, a part of the conversation today. Obviously, a key in fact well, is the, the climate key, change the, resolution. The, the, the key issue was uh, the climate change uh, resolution and I think that uh, governments should stop bickering about this and let the airline to handle it and the airlines should let in turn IATA to handle it because IATA has a very capable uh, management in place. Uh, Tony is a very uh, fine administrator and at the same time he is an airline man so he knows the interest of the airlines and I don't see that uh, a government should get involved in a business they hardly understand. So what is the key message that you'll take to the EU my, later this year? My key message is to allow IATA to lead the airline community in finalizing the uh, climate change issues with ICAO. We have a very short time frame, we have a very small window and we should not let this window to be lost. Thank you very much for talking to Breaking